Welcome back, everybody. I'm sitting here with David Cole, the president and CEO of EMX Royalties. We're still talking about gold. Uh, EMX has a number of gold properties in their asset portfolio that we're gonna we're gonna mention a few of them. But first, obviously, the the bread and butter of the company is the Leeville Gold Royalty in Nevada. Uh, it pays off handsomely each month and helps keep the business going, and so you don't have to take any money out of the uh, out of the coffers. But I think interestingly enough, Dave is uh, Nevada Gold Mines, which is now you know was is now New Mo the New Mont Barrick Joint Venture in Nevada. They've actually come out and said there's some pretty hefty exploration that they're undergoing to see uh, probably find some more ounces in the ground. Yeah, and that that PowerPoint presentation is on their website, Nevada Gold Mines, and they outline the potential there. Um, we're very excited about it. it, it you know. Uh, Broad brush numbers. They're they're talking about uh, 14, 15 million ounces of potential in the greater area. Two thirds or more of that sits within our royalty footprint. So probably 10 plus on our royalty ground is the numbers they're talking about mm. um, as potential. But they're saying that's drill indicated. That's new news. That's new news to us and to the market. We're very excited about that. Um, we're happy to have Newmont Mining Corporation as a shareholder, and, and um, always a pleasure to work with them. I, I'm just curious, how do you, as a company, I mean, do you how do you follow up with Nevada Gold Mines? Does that relationship change with that joint venture going on? Are you still talking to the same point people? Well, they send us a check every month, so that part hasn't changed. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and that's the best part. Um, you know, we have yet to communicate with them as the changeover just happened in July. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, the checks are still coming in, and, and you know, I look forward to having the opportunity to communicate with Nevada Gold Mines. Yeah. So I, I asked you kind of before we started recording, like you know, what's your favorite gold project off of? You said Leeville, but you got a couple other uh, news releases out. Uh, one out of your Queensland Gold project in Australia, and the other one Gold Mine in uh, I think it's Sweden, right? Yes. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about those two projects on the gold spectrum of the portfolio. Yeah, I'm happy to. So in Sweden, we came in during the downturn and got aggressive at acquiring mineral rights. And we're the second largest mineral right holder in the country of Sweden now. Many of those assets that we have are polymetallic, but we also acquired 14, 13 or 14 licenses along the gold line. And part and parcel of our business model, we like to sell things on, mm -hmm. keep royalties. So we sold those into a company backed by PI Financial. Mm -hmm. Very nice deal for us, 3% royalty on the properties, equity in the company that's advancing them. So we have the chance to win twice, part and parcel to our business model. We do deals like this often. Right. We get equity exposure, we get royalty exposure, and we help them out at the early stages uh, with some on the ground intelligence with regards to advancing that. And we just came out with a press release discussing how that's going, and it's looking good. Yeah. yeah, we're very pleased and, and, and quite importantly, they were able to take advantage of the bump in the gold price to raise a little money. That money's going in the ground. It's a great example of the execution of the model. If there's going to be one uh, property that was going to be your next uh, royalty payment check on top of Levo, what do you think it might be? Oh, I think that's a, the Balia property in Turkey, lead, zinc, silver. Mm -hmm. in, in rough time frame, maybe on top of your head? I think a year, a half a year to a year. Yeah, we'll put the forward-looking mm -hmm. statement yeah. <laughs> yeah. slide there. But yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, we're not the operator. Someone right. else is the operator. Uh, and so, you know, uh, that's both the good aspect and the bad aspect of being a royalty holder. Okay. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, you know, it's a project that, that we're very bullish on. Mm -hmm. That's more information about the gold projects happening in EMAX's royalties asset portfolio. We're going to move on to another metal, and we'll talk to you then. Thank you.